can. Please tell me I can. I can. I can. Going down. What? There's something here. No, 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 no. What's happening? No. Are you kidding me? Hello guys and welcome back to Respawn Gaming. Today we're gonna check out Outer Wilds. It's a game from 2018. Uh, I just found out about it yesterday and I was like that sounds amazing I'm gonna try that. And it appears to be uh, you're in a tiny solar system and you need to try to save the solar system. Um, and you're kind of on a time loop or something so every 25 minutes or something the you reset back to the point where you start and you well not try again because you keep your information but, but uh, let's start okay so here we are wake up Ooh, what's that explosion that's um that's uh um jewel from Kerbin isn't it the guest giant and green Roast marshmallow. Oh, nice. How do I? Um, oh. Nice. And put it. No, no. Okay, it's coming. Let's try again. Come on, come on. Just a short, low. Um, um, um. Nice. Uh, let's see. Do we have here? And who are you? There's our pilot back from pre launch compound on the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty of the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um, are you kidding? Of course I'm ready. It's finally time to test the new landing hydraulics with the pilot instead of the out of flight systems. Speaking of pilots, make sure you don't crash the ship the first time you put it down here. Well, I'm gonna try. Anyway, you need to get the launch codes from Hornfeld's observatory. Before you can lift off, just bring those here once you've said goodbyes or whatever. Okay. What's this? It's a control system for something? Fly mother ship? Can I? Horizontal thrust, down, up thrust. There we go. I think these are the same controls as the ship I'm gonna fly. Oh no, oh, no, 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 no. no. Another. I hope I'm gonna get fly better with the main ship. <laughs> Let's try to land here. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's coming. Come on. Just land on the giant pad. There we go. Nice. And now continue to the small one. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's keep it at that. What a landing. I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Okay. Uh, wait, can I get into the geyser? Please tell me I can. Please tell me I, ca I, can. I can. Going down. What? There's something here? No, 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 no. What's happening? No. Are you kidding me? Why do I always have to try the things that are just gonna kill me? I mean, should have known. Wait, this is really the end? Okay, so I restarted the game and I thought, what about if I try to land this thing into the geyser? Let's see what happens then. Only thing is I can't see what it's seeing, so... Where are we now? Oh, we're going somewhere.
Where the hell are we going? What? Oh, there it is! What? I came out of the... So there is an exit on the other side, or just clipped through walls, but... Okay. Um, well, in that case, goodbye, little one. And welcome back. Why are you standing on a crate? When you're watching for the skies. I mean, you can watch over the railing. But I think that's none of my business. Never mind. Uh, bye bye. Good. Shit. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. Okay, nice. And what are you doing here? You're throwing rocks at stuff. You're throwing rocks through portals? What? Um. Hi, astronaut. You know the path? Patch of ghost matter inside this fence. Cousin said it used to be big when they were hatchlings. And then now I should see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is the ghost ghost patch. And I think danger inside this fence. The pocket of ghost matter, a strange, dangerous substance that is invisible to the naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Okay, so this is the observatory where I needed to go. We have a painting here of five outer world spending finding members clockwise. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what's this? Statue of a goat with three eyes or something? This remarkable intact statue was carved by Nomai, an ancient species who dwelt the solar system. The statue provides us with the most detailed look at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur, and the decorative jewelry that has been carved is part of the antlers. Although their artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in this solar system, we still have no idea where this species came from or what happened to them. Hmm. Cool. And uh, what's this here? It's like a museum. No, my. Although the text is linear, no, my often branch off in a central point instantly. Each branch then to be written by a different author. Then translate. Up. We're nearly ready, Felix, and I have finished construction. And. She says calibrating the device won't take long. From Cassava. And then. Unfortunately, the Atoll Rock lack of. The Atoll Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally. Uh, parts of the Nomai skeleton. We can tell their skills so fast. And, and quite un un unusually, they had only three eyes. Only. I don't know. And what's this? What? Oh! I'm now walking on the... Okay, that's cool. I think this, this part of the game is like a tutorial where they show off all the mechanics. Um, I also had already a granny telling me that there are people playing music on almost each planet and that you can hear them with special devices. Oh, what's this? It's like an anglerfish, isn't it? Oh, the S anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew too close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places. And these are... what the hell is that? It's a massive star. Continues to fuse carbon into even heavier. Well, I can tell you one thing stars don't look like that. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then. Oh, in a supernova. Yeah, okay. No, never mind. Based on church observations, this one day will be the fate of our own sun. Well, that's true. And then this is a red giant. Hodder. Uh, or. Wait. Now it's getting, it's the expansion of the suns, isn't it? Stars like our own sunlight, it 
throws all the disturbance out of hydrogen and starts to collapse. Yeah. Contracts getting on the disturb becomes a red giant. Yes, and then eventually it's exploding and it's supernova. And this is we have some balls. Watch closely, these balls move on their own. The ground's perfectly level, so what do you think causes the spooky motion? The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the Atherock gravity pulls an object from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. So the moon's gravity is a bit stronger than ours. So I got the goats and I think we're done here. Um, hello? What's happening? Are you going? You're taking my thoughts? Then I forget everything. Do I need to get the launch codes again or? What? I still have the launch codes. And his eyes, were they already open like that? Oh, and on the last outer was Ventures Timberheart's first and only space program was founded to explore the forest. Feldspar was the first heart into the. Let's go to the launch state. So you did get a look at the Domai state. You know what it does? Uh, statue was doing what? So it opened its eyes and then you saw images of your own memories glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? That's no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like medical speaking. Well... I hope so. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translated to. I can't believe it's all grown up. For space to... For real. Though I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like a real pack. Say if you want a short trip, just get the uh, space legs under you so you can check the ruins on the Atoll Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. In the building it also mentioned the other rock, isn't it? So, the launch codes and then go up the launch tower. And there's our ship. It's a bit... Um... Clumsy. Doesn't look really professional. And I would say... Is that the main... No. What's the main thruster? How do we get up? What do we have in here? We have our spacesuit tools. Uh, we have a computer. We have one of those gravity crystals. Why do we? Ha oh wait, that's for artificial gravity in here. Never mind. Can I do something with? Oh. The Ethel rock. That was where I needed to go, isn't it? Timber's heart and the Ethel Rock. The rune somewhere, yeah. Okay, I need to go there. And then rumor mode is okay. So what we heard about some places. Let's see. If I go up. And then what? Uh, that's launch view, and then, okay, and we're going up. Nice, and now we are already in space, we're already in space. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to find the moon. Is that the Ethel Rock? Okay, we need to go there. Let's make sure I don't fly into the atmosphere, that would be sad to already crash now. And uh, let's see, where do we want to land? There's smoke coming from one side. And oh, there's a ruin, I think. Or is that? Or that's only a ship, isn't it? Let's look if the ship has anything to offer. Let's go back in landing mode, and oh, that's a ridge. And land it. 
Get out. Get the suit. And let's go. I think. Yeah. Uh, where's the ship? Where's the... Over there. Do we have a light or something? I do. Okay. Um, this looks like an other version of the ship I'm flying at the moment. But... It, I can't open it. It's just... There's nothing I can do here. Is it? Okay, to the next location. Let's hope I can do something there. So I just went to the house and to the wooden bridge. Uh, they both did not really have to offer that much. And what is this? We have only a half moon and the other half is exploded or something. Oh, look, that are the runes I think I have to go to. Let's just try to land right next to them. And let's see. So... Why would you have three walls in a building? Were they scared of something up here? And... oh, what? can put you... Oh! Oh, and now they move? What are they doing? What have I put you in? Let's go first down. Maybe they have a description down here what it does. Or you need to do something for... Oxygen tank for refill. That's nice. That's really nice. Okay, what does it say? I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun giants deep and brittle hollow. Eye signal locator. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicates, indicates rotates wildly and never points just to one direction. I see. Most of it likely calibrated Calibrate the locator incorrectly, Brevet. My apprentice and I will... This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out signals. So, something about an eye... Eye signal? Now what's this? It's a button? Or something? Oh! It's a keyhole. Oh, it's a scroll. Okay, never mind. It's like that one. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than its eye signal locator is. Anoya and those of the as original strand on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon located there, but the heat of the sun made it construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. A quantum moon locator. Okay. Okay, and this one. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has am ample available space. You could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conway would enjoy it immensely, and he always had a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. So they crashed here? So they st are stranded in this system? I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole then immediately. So I guess we need to go to Brittle Hollow. So what are you doing? So yeah, okay, that's how it works. So this symbol stands for sun, and now the the loops are pointed towards the sun, and then this is I think the, the green gas giant. I don't see it at the moment. Oh, it's behind the sun. Come on, show yourself. Oh, well, I think it's... that works. And what's... this one then? It looks like there are cracks all over the surface.
So yeah, that's like the sun, Jupiter, or the gas giant, and another planet. And then this one, I don't know, it should, that, it, I think this is towards the eye and they couldn't locate it with this thing. But I think that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching and as always, gamers don't die, they respawn.